This video will show you how to update the firmware on any of your Kinko servo drivers that are dated pre-2018. For starters, let's open up communication, check your communication ports and establish communications between the software and your driver. In the drivers tab here on the Kinko Servo Plus software, select load firmware. Under this load file button, you'll have to download the .zip folder from the Anaheim Automation website in the link below. Download and zip it out into your downloads folder here, so it's a .kinko file. Open that .kinko file and select download. This whole process takes a handful, maybe two or three minutes as it establishes communications between the driver and updates all the motor parameters that are available. This firmware update allows for motors that are 120 volt AC, such as the 200, 400, 750, and 1000 watt servo drivers in the SMH60 and SMH80S sizes. Prior to this firmware update, uh, users had to use motor code XX and fill in the current, the resistance, the inductance, and other motor parameters manually. You'll see on the Kinko Servo nameplate, under the serial number here just above the barcode, the 15 that's followed by these two X's indicates that this servo driver was dated and created in 2015. Any driver that has 2018 or is an 18 right there does not need this firmware update. Downloads finished, so we can go into our motor tab here under the motor settings. This is the 200 watt E5 motor. Under help, we can see all the other lists inside the servo software that allows for these motor codes and parameters. Now the 120 volt versions of these motors are available at, to entry and the driver will accept them without an EEPROM error.